friends, and welcome back. That is my best attempt at sound, trying to sound country, but I had to do this. We just got in the Wampler gearbox, which is Andy Wood's signature pedal, a dual overdrive pedal that I was really excited to get in here and try out. It's got some really interesting and surprising features to it, and uh, I'll try to play a little bit more what's in my wheelhouse for the rest, <laughs> rest of this video, but I gotta show off to you some of this stuff. Okay, first of all, a two-channel uh, overdrive pedal. On channel one, we have what they call a tweaked Wampler Tumnus circuit, which, you know, is, uh, they consider that to be a transparent overdrive based on the Klon circuitry. Over on channel two, we have the Pinnacle, which is a, a Wampler pedal that's really based on the brown sound. Uh, the British tube amp thing is what they're going for here from what I was digging into it. I had both channels engaged here, and I want to walk you through the steps to what I dialed in on here because there are an infinite number of sounds. This is a true pedal for tone shaping. Um, I wouldn't necessarily consider this the pedal to plug into an amp, turn up the distortion, and just go with. There is so much interactivity between the controls, not only the gain and levels on each circuit, not only the tone control on the Tumnus side with the three-band EQ over on the Pinnacle side. It's also very interactive with the way you have your amplifier set. Um, there's no way I could get through all this in one video, but I'll try to show you a few things that I think are really cool about it. Oh, and one other thing before I forget. Being a two-channel, you know, circuit, most people, including me, you know, we kind of learn the rule that you go with your lowest gain pedals into your heavier gain pedals first. This gives you the ability to swap this. If you want to go into the pinnacle first and then into the Tumnus side, you can do that. And actually, believe it or not, I like it better. And when you think about it, it kind of makes sense. Uh, the Tumnus and, of course, you know, the original Klon, not only are they, you know, just brilliant, clean boost slash mild overdrive kind of pedals, they're color pedals. There's something that they just add to the sound tonally tighten up the low end, bring the mid-range a little bit forward. And being a color pedal, putting a heavier distortion in front of it really did a lot to keep the character of the original guitar tone intact. And I'll show you that real quickly. Okay, first of all, I've got this going into the clean channel of our Mesa Fillmore back here that we use all the time. And hopefully you can see on this. I know the angle of that isn't the best, but I'm going to start over here on the Tumnus side. We have a level control here, which is the overall volume, and I, it seems to be post-circuitry from what I can hear. Uh, looks like you've got your gain and your tone stack, which are the first two it's going in, and then a level, which is controlling the output of it. I've got the gain set uh, what is it, about 2 o'clock there, and just to hear the difference. And this is with, uh, this is with, uh, I've got a beautiful Player Plus HSS Stratocaster here, and I've got the uh, Bridge Humbucker coil tapped on it at the moment. Okay, engage the Tumnus side. which is exactly what I wanted to do. It's taking me from this very, can't call it a sterile sound because it's a Fillmore and I love the clean channel on this, but it's really, it's taking me to that edge of breakup place where I really like to live, where you can go from clean to,
to that dirty, gritty territory just with the way you pick. That's where I kind of love amps to live. Great starting point. Now, I'm going to turn this off for a minute. We're going to go over here to the pinnacle side. And I've got the gain just, you know, for the sound I had dialed up in the intro, I didn't want this to be overpowering gain. It's down at about 10 o'clock right now. And you're going, why would you dial in a tone like that? Well, it's because I had both channels engaged a moment ago. Now, normally, I would not have the bass up like this. I'd have a little bit more mids in it. Get down in that territory. I'm going to go to Humbucker for just a second while we play with the gain a little bit here. Just so you can hear this clean. Lost a lot of level there too, as you can see, because I had both channels engaged. We'll play with this a minute and then I'll show you what the two channel mode can do. I'll get this level back up on here to kind of match. There we go. Crank up a little bit more gain to it. Let's just take it way up there. Gets kind of searing there. And as you can tell, let's I'll tweak this down a little bit. Got a lot of mid-range boosted now. Using it by itself, that's probably around the vicinity I would live with it on a high gain tone. But I'm going to take it back down to what I had before. Kind of close here. Get that mid-range down some. The reason I'm doing this is because feeding the pinnacle into the tumness the tumness the tumness is taming that bass bringing up a whole lot of mid range so if i want to get a good balanced sound turning down the mid range over here bringing the bass back up a little bit give that even more if we want to. Let's see what we get there. Now, for something totally different as far as sound here. We've got the switch up here. I've been running the pinnacle into the tumness side. I'm going to reverse that. We're going to go tumness into pinnacle and we're going to see something completely different here, I believe. Back on. structure changed totally on that, which you would expect, but as I say, the, using this as dual channel simultaneously, there's so much interaction between the tone control, you kind of got to set it up the way you like it for the flavor that you want to have, and then just kind of go with it. Switching on the fly is going to do some kind of unpredictable things, I believe. But let's see what we can do to kind of regain those frequencies. Uh, first of all, let me take down the tone just a little bit over on the tumness side. 
I'm going to take down the bass on the pinnacle side, bring those mid-range back up. There we go. Okay, now, let's check out what exactly is going on here. Now, we're running the tumness into the pinnacle. Tumness on first, just to see how that's... Now, with Pinnacle on. There we go, fill in that mid-range a little bit more. Now, the pinnacle side just by itself. You see all the things that are happening tonally here. Aside from just the gain and the overdrive that you expect from a pedal, uh, so much interactivity between the tone controls. That's what I mean. You can really do some fine tuning on sculpting your tone if you choose to use this in a dual channel mode. It, is just a pedal that will give you an incredible wealth of tones. I'm really, really digging this. For one stomp box, this is a whole lot of options here. And I think this is just a great piece of gear. I can't wait to get a little deeper into it. Uh, it is Andy Wood's signature box. So if you're a guitarist, you've got to be on Andy Wood Music Channel on YouTube because we all have that particular style of instruction that we like and Andy to me is the best. If you haven't checked him out yet, definitely get on his channel as well. But anyway, this is the Wampler Andy Wood's signature gearbox available here at More Music and MoreGuitars.com. If you have any questions about this or any other piece of gear, give us a call contact us on the website. The people who work here are the experts on every brand they sell. They can answer any question you got and they'll steer you into the perfect match for the tone that you're trying to create. So give them a call. Until next time, y'all have a great day. Stay safe.